Hello everyone, this is Faith from Life Food Faith and in today's video I will be showing you my version of meatloaf recipe. I will show you all the ingredients that I will use for this recipe. I have here some bread. This is just like um, rolls. I got this from Kroger. And then I have um, a half cup of milk and uh, Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> Correct me if I pronounce it wrong. This is an olive oil. I have some Parmesan cheese. Um, I don't have a fresh parsley but I just have this um, McCormick. I have this black pepper, salt, garlic, onion, and of course the ground beef. Now for the glaze, I'll be using paprika, tomato paste, um, ground mustard, garlic powder, onion powder, ketchup, and a brown sugar. So that's all the ingredients and let's start. Over here I'm heating the pan I'll put some a little bit of olive oil and then we're gonna cook our onion I will put a little bit of salt in my onion just to make it sweat a little and then our garlic so we don't want to burn it and we don't want it to we don't want like a dark brown in it, just just enough to caramelize the onion. So our onion is smushed and we have a mixing bowl over here. This is our bread and milk that we soaked earlier. It's very soft now, so we will put this over here. The idea is to mix everything together before the meat so we can work mixing everything and not over touching our meat so it won't get tough. And earlier I forgot to mention that we need two eggs. Just crack it up and over here. Mix it good. And we have our parsley. I really wish I have a fresh I don't know, um, just eyeball it. I don't know, you just eyeball it. Depends on the amount of meat that you have. That looks good. Our Parmesan. Again, it's really nice if this is fresh. Mix, mix, mix. A little bit of salt. Brown pepper, black pepper. And a dash of Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce. How do you ever, however you pronounce it. Just like that. And then we are gonna add our mush, garlic, and onion. Mix, mix, mix. Then we have our meat over here. I think it's, um, I don't know, maybe two pounds. So make sure you wash your hands. So make sure you wash your hands and we'll just use our hands to mix it. Make sure that everything is mixed over there. All right, so I have this pan over here. I always use this whenever I make a meatloaf. Um, I know I've seen a lot of recipes that they've been using the, um, the loaf pan like a traditional um, loaf pan or bread pan but I like to use this one because there's a hole in it and I just mm, like form my meat over here and then whatever grease would be coming down here and my meatloaf is not swimming with all the grease from fat from the meat so let's go ahead and put that So I'll just 
make sure that um, I evenly form it. Not too thick, not too thin, um, because if we make it too thick, then for sure the middle will not get cooked. So while I'm forming this, or I'm doing this, I already preheat my oven for 350 Fahrenheit. Okay, so this would sit over here, and while waiting for the oven to heat up, we're gonna do the glaze. For the glaze, I have a 1 fourth cup of brown sugar. Then we'll be using ketchup. Um, let's just say three four cup. We'll add a tomato paste, just maybe two teaspoon of ground mustard. Spin of paprika, spin of onion powder, and a teaspoon of garlic powder. And we'll give it a good mix. So this is our glaze and I'll be using this um, brush and then we'll just spread it to our meat. That's it and then we will be adding more glaze later on. So the oven is on 350 now so we're going to put it in the oven. And then we will just bake it for 50 minutes. So we will just bake it for 50 minutes and then we'll take it off. We'll put the rest of the glaze and then we'll bake it again for 15 minutes and that would be it. It will be 15 minutes and we are done. And over here, I have some side Jan um, requests for a mashed potato, and then we have some cheesy biscuits over here that we'll be baking after the meatloaf will be done. And that is our finished product. That's our meatloaf and. Dinner is almost ready. So that's it you guys. If you want to try it, if ever you try this recipe, please tag me on my Instagram. And I would really appreciate it if you can tell me how you'd like it. Thank you so much for watching. God bless.